OpenAI just released a multi-agents framework called Swarm. Swarm focuses on making agent coordination, that is multiple agents working together and executing a task, which is lightweight, highly controllable and easily testable. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you are able to automate any of your tasks with these AI agents. So in this, I'm going to explore this further by giving you an example, like creating a manager agent, a weather agent, stock price agent. When the user asks a question, this could be you, what is the weather of New York to the manager agent? Then that's going to ask the weather agent, get the result and send that to the user. At the same time, if you ask, what is the stock price of Apple to the manager agent, it's going to use the stock price agent and give you the results. Also, we are going to provide tools to these agents, such as weather tool to the weather agent and the stock price tool to the stock price agent. Similarly, you can add any tool to any of these agents and it's able to perform tasks. How this is different from Crew AI, Autogen and Langgraf. We are going to cover all of those. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can create AI agents to automate your work. As an example, we are going to automate the weather and stock price and I'm going to show you the advanced customization using this swarm. Also, I'll provide all the code free in the description below so that you can get started straight away. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. The key question you might have is that, is this going to replace Microsoft's Autogen, Crew AI or Langgraf? But before seeing that, let's see what are AI agents. It's independent AI systems working together to solve a complex task. So if you have a complex task, instead of relying on multiple people to get it completed, now we have AI agents who can work for you. This also can be integrated with Olama or any open source models, which means you can run this completely locally and with free of cost. So in our example, we are going to create a manager agent, a stock price agent, a weather agent, and we are going to provide tools such as Yahoo Finance tool to the stock price agent and an open weather tool to the weather agent. So first step, in your terminal, pip install this package and then Yahoo Finance. This is the Swarm package. Yahoo Finance is for integrating with stock price API and then click enter. Now it's installing all the required packages. After this, just export open AI API key. This is the large language model or the AI powering this. So for now I'm using the paid version using open AI's own model GPT-40. So you can generate this from open AI website. So after this click enter. Next I'm going to use open weather to get the weather data and get the API keys from here. I'm going to export same as before, open weather API key and put that value here and then click enter. So we used open weather API to create the weather tool and the stock price Y finance to use the stock price tool. So this could be your own tool. If you have your own tool, such as a calculator tool, you can even add that here. So the possibilities are unlimited. Now, next step, we are going to create these agents. So I'm going to create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, import OS, requests, and then from Swarm, import Swarm and agent. Next, initializing the Swarm client, client equals Swarm. Now loading open weather API key from the environment variable. So we can use this to request the weather data. Now adding the base URL. First, let's focus on creating the weather tool, then the manager agent, and then the weather agent. So step number one, creating weather tool. So here I'm going to create the weather tool, get weather and adding the required parameters and using the request.get to get the weather. Next, getting the data and then returning the weather data. So it returns the weather in the city is temperature with weather description. So here is the overall function. So this is the tool and it's completed. Next, we are going to create the manager agent and the weather agent. Now I'm going to create a function which is going to transfer from manager agent to the weather agent. So it's just a simple function which says transfers to weather assistant and then returns the weather agent. Now manager agent. So it's same as before. And this is similar to crew AI and autogen. So we're just calling the agent and the name of the agent manager assistant instruction. You help users to directing them to the right assistant and the function is transfer to weather assistant. That's all to do with creating one manager agent. Now next we are going to create a weather agent, weather agent and same as before with the agent function, we are providing the weather assistant name uh, instruction. You provide weather information for the given location and we are providing the tool that is a function get weather. 
So here is the get weather which we created earlier. So I'm just passing this get weather function to the weather agent. Now we are going to run all these agents by calling client.run. And first we are calling the manager agent and asking the question, what's the weather in New York? That's it. And finally printing the response. Simple few steps and creating these agents are super simple. So as a quick overview, I created the tool, get weather tool. Then I created the manager agent, the weather agent and made them work together. And finally, I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. You can see it's running manager assistant, transferring to weather assistant, running weather function for New York, and the current weather in New York is this much degree and with broken clouds. So now we've successfully created a manager agent, a weather agent with the tool. Now we are going to create the stock price agent and the stock price tool. I slightly modify the code, same as get weather function, I created get stock price function. So here you can see the basic function, I'm using Yahoo Finance sticker. So at the top you can see I imported Yahoo Finance. So using Yahoo Finance, you can get the stock price of any company. And that's how I've integrated that here. Created the tool, same as before, transfer to stock price assistant and created a stock price agent and assigned the stock price tool to the stock price agent. That's it, as simple as that. Now if I ask, what's the weather in New York? It will respond accordingly. And if I ask, what is the stock price of Apple? It's going to respond accordingly. And this manager agent is going to coordinate between those agents. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. For the first agent, it's going to get the weather information of New York. And you can see it got the weather information using Open Weather API. For the second question, it uses the stock price agent, getting the stock price of Apple. And after that, it's giving us the response. So this is just a simple example. Imagine if you're able to add multiple agents into this mix with multiple tools, that's going to simplify all the complex tasks into an easy solution. So how this is different from Crew AI, Autogen, and then Langgraph. As you probably know, this is an experimental or educational tool for now. This tool is not production ready yet, but I hope this will be production ready soon. But the working is same as other multi-agents framework. One advantage is that this doesn't use any library such as Langchain in the middle. It directly uses OpenAI's API. And also these steps are transparent, which means you can clearly see the steps involved in between these agents, the tool calls, and you are able to customize and modify this based on your requirement. Same like the manager agent which we created, Crew AI has its own manager LLM. Autogen has group chat manager. But when you see Crew AI and Autogen, they are more mature in regards to the number of features it contains to simplify the process. But this OpenAI SOM is yet to catch up. Is this going to replace Crew AI, Autogen or Langgraph? The answer is no for now because of the features which Crew AI, Autogen and Langgraph provides. But if those features get added to this swarm, that is a tight competition. And we will be having multiple agent frameworks for us to choose from. If you want 100% customization and to understand every single step of the flow, then Swarm is a perfect choice for that. Considering you like to automate your complex tasks, there are many easy steps to follow and create these multi-agents framework, which I have clearly covered in this video, which I will put that here. So I highly recommend for you to watch that and understand how you can create multi-agents framework with just few lines of code. I will see you there.